New at 6, the circus is back in town this weekend, and for a final time, the Ringling Brothers Elephants will perform. We told you in January when the circus announced the iconic act would be retiring a year and a half earlier than originally expected. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Reich got a front row seat to today's elephant introduction. She joins us with more on the story from the Providence Bubble Newsroom. Circus fans are saying goodbye to the elephants. Their last performance is Sunday here at the Dunkin' Donut Center. <laughs> elephants have fascinated the Ringling Brothers circus audience for more than a hundred years. Now they're retiring for good. It's bittersweet because I love them, but I know it's the right thing for them to do. The elephants are moving to a conservation center in Polk City, Florida. This comes after decades of animal rights activists claiming the circus was cruel to the elephants. They complained trainers used bull hooks to beat the animals into submission. Allegations the ringmaster denies. There is no controversy. These are the best kept animals on the planet. Many cities now have anti-circus ordinances that make it hard for Ringling Brothers to organize tours. This weekend is the circus's last tour with elephants in Providence. Crowds gathered at the Dunk Thursday to watch the animals enjoy a feast. I know it's going to be the last time we get to a chance to see them. The elephants' new home will be a 200-acre estate where they'll swim, sunbathe, and socialize. The top tier of veterinarians will be with them, the top tier trainers will be with them, and also they will be uh, aligning themselves with some fantastic cancer research. Even though there won't be any more elephants, the circus will still continue using other animals like lions, tigers, and horses. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.